Hello again, class. It is your art teacher, Mr. Z, and we're going to be working with a little bit of what we call paper sculpture today. Paper sculpture. Now, sculpture is three-dimensional. You can walk around it. And I'm going to show you a way to walk around this piece of paper. If you have a piece of paper with nothing on it, it's one dimension. If you add a little drawing to it, that becomes two dimensions. Add this little eye in. And if I make it into a sculpture and I can walk around it, it becomes three dimensions. I wonder how we're going to do that. Let's get started right now. I have a piece of blue paper in front of me. I'm going to take the upper left-hand corner and run it down until it exactly matches the bottom. We did this for our snowflakes. Crease it well, very well. And now you can cut off this extra piece and we can even make two little ones out of it. If you want. Now, I have a pyramid, it opens here, and I'm going to fold the two ends of the pyramid together, like yay, and crease it very strongly. You may wish to use the edge of your scissors. Okay, when it stands on its end, like that, you are ready to go. What I'm going to do is I have a pyramid here, I have a long bottom to the pyramid, and I can either start on this side or this side. We're cutting toward the top. The way that we do a paper sculpture is we go, I don't know, is that a half inch? And we cut almost to the other side. We stop. Let's leave about that much. Turn it around and go back the other way. Here I go back the other way. When I almost get to that end, you can tell me to stop. Now my next cut would be right here, right? No, you're right. It would be going around from the other direction. So let's try that. We will do that all the way to the top. Keep on turning it back and forth. This is how you get one dimension into three dimensions. Going back and forth all the way to the very top. Keep turning it around, leave about that much. And don't get too close to the edge, you're gonna run into trouble. And here we go back again. Maybe one more. Whoops, that's what I planned on doing. Now, what you have here is your paper sculpture. Cut beautifully, and it's now ready to be opened. But the way we open it is leaf by leaf. You cannot shake these things open. Leaf by leaf by leaf by leaf until we have that larger triangle. And then leaf by leaf by leaf by leaf until it's wide open. And then very simply, you can grab two ends of it and lift it up into a beautiful paper sculpture. Again, perhaps I can show that to you. Wow! That is fine. Now, I'm going to put this back. Let's see if I can do a reasonably good job, which I doubt. There we go. That's pretty good. Now, one, one can also put one inside of the other. So, let's try that. Let's try number two. Again, we are going to pull this down here and line that up with the bottom. 
the exact same thing we did with the first. And I'm going to cut off this extra piece. Fold that again. And sometimes you might want to have mom and dad draw those lines. I have drawn them for my younger children. And that's not a bad way to do it. I'll show you that. Grab my ruler. And I will grab my pencil here. And starting on the bottom, after creasing it, the way I do it is I do all of them from one direction at once. So here we go. Don't touch that upper end. Remember, because we can't get that close. Then I turn it around. That piece comes off. I turn it around and come the other direction. And here we're sneaking them in there. And we're sneaking them in here. That one should be a little bit better. Now, if you cut on these exactly, uh, that's another good way to do it. And you can maybe have mom and dad uh, or auntie or your big brother or sister help you. Again, I'm going to stay on these exactly. And I think you can see that I still have to turn it around and do it the same way as before. I just a little bit easier because I can just stay exactly on these lines and we should have something resembling a decent two color paper sculpture. Now this is an advantage for you guys because you can make them at home because these things are hard to get home from school. Kids tend to walk on them or step on their neighbors or kids tend to have a hard time getting them back together, getting them in a backpack. That's not a good idea. That's a good way to cream everything. I think I'm gonna take it off right here. And again, let's try that leaf by leaf business. Here we are, and again, leaf by 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 leaf. There we go. There's it open again. Now, we have a number two here. Let's put number one over it and see what happens. Now, we have to find, oh, here it is on the floor. Here we have number one, and it's not behaving, so here it is. Let's put number one uh, over number two. As I said, oh boy. let's try this, okay, and let's try that. These things are fussy, I'm going to warn you. I'm going to put these at kind of an angle. I'm gonna pull number two up, the top piece. I'm gonna pull it right through number one here. And I have those two together. Now, if you lift those up, you have a brilliant two color. And again, I'm going to attempt to show that to you. Here, let's try this. And, Look at that. Well, it's not really great. I hope you can see it. Let me stand back from it a little bit. I will put it here. Well, anyway, you get the feeling for a gorgeous paper sculpture. And that's something that you can do at home to create a three-dimensional space. That's right. 